Welcome back to the YouTube. A little while ago, I asked you guys, you, what's the weirdest thing your teacher made you do in detention? I never really had detention when I was in school. I was a little good boy. So it's a bit of a mystery to me what you would actually do. Heard a lot of funny stories, but it seems to be very different between every teacher. For example, made us stand up for an hour saying what we did wrong over and over again until she thought we were sorry enough. I mean, that just sounds horrible. I mean, it's a good punishment. Like, I get it. You're in detention for a reason. You've done something bad, but it's just very interesting to see what teachers make you do. Make sure you stick to the end, guys, because some of these are, I think, a little bit over the top and teachers shouldn't be allowed to do them. Made the other kids throw pencils at us like darts. <laughs> Surely not. Surely. <laughs> well, they just got the pencil and they were like... <laughs> I wonder if the teacher actually threw any pencils at them. My music teacher forced me to sing a Disney song. She was stunned and instantly let me leave. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> Jerry, you're free to go. <laughs> I love that she let him leave. Like, his singing was so good. She was just amazed by it. Because I had a Nintendo Switch in my bag and he was a gamer, we had a wager. I won and was free from it. What a legendary teacher. That is that is cool. I wish my teachers were like them. Whole class got detention and teacher made us pick our nose till it started bleeding horrible. I don't think <laughs> that's a little bit it's a little bit strange. I don't think that's a common punishment for students in detention. Everyone, you just gotta sit there and pick your nose until it starts bleeding. Uh and that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's all you're doing for the next two hours. <laughs> I kind of feel like you got detention for picking your nose. And this is just you twisting the story around. Made us sing, if you've been naughty and you know it, clap your hands. That's funny. Give them a massage. Your teacher made you give them a massage. Not really sure what to do with that information. Um... <laughs> Did you tell your parents about this or they made us go around school picking up rubbish with wooden sticks I do actually think that's something my school used to do because I remember a lot of students going around doing that I don't know if they were volunteers or if they were had like a detention and that was their punishment But that is one I've definitely heard of right on a piece of paper I am a silly monkey then sing it to the front of the classroom. Sing it. <laughs> Is that it? It was just, I am a silly monkey. And you just had to scream that. I am a silly monkey. Would you agree? <laughs> I don't actually sound like this. I, I love when I'm doing an impression of myself. I go really posh. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. Add up a massive list of six digit numbers with no calculator, just column method. Oh. They just basically made you do maths. Yeah, that's fair enough. Nobody wants to do that. This next one's a bit interesting. Fingered me. As he was knuckle deep, he said, that's how I feel when you walk in my classroom. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. What is wrong with some of you guys? What is wrong with you? You made me read these out. I had to write suffocating is bad. Huge misunderstanding. I was in year two. Um, I'd like to know a bit more about this story. <laughs> Who were you trying to suffocate? Who did you kill? <laughs> suck him off. Your teacher made you suck him off in detention. Brilliant. What a what a legendary teacher. I uh <laughs> That is relatable. Run a bake sale. No way. Your teacher made you run a bake sale, like a cake sale. I wanna see I need to see pictures of this. Do they just give you a load of ingredients and tell you to make a load of different pastries and cakes and things and then sell them? Because that is a very weird thing to do in detention. I'm assuming you already had the cakes and stuff to sell. Either that or they got you to run the bake sale instead of doing detention. I don't know. Either way, it's funny. To write an essay about dangers of throwing scissors. <laughs> but I was told to write it under a table. Why under a table? <laughs> she just didn't want to look at you. Are you really ugly? <laughs> she just didn't want to see your face while you were doing it. So she told you to sit underneath the table. Read a dictionary word for word and write it down as I failed my writing mock. I am dyslexic. Oh, God, that sounds even worse. The fact you're dyslexic. I can't think of anything worse than writing a dictionary out, like copying it out word for word on paper. That would be so bad. <laughs> you'd get so bored. You'd, you'd learn a lot of words, though. Did you learn? Probably not. You're dyslexic, so. Writing, I love school, 100 times on the board. And they spelt board B-O-R-D. Silly! 100 times. How long did that take you? Let me know in the comments if you're watching. If I see that comment, I'll pin it. Made my mate, who's afraid of heights, go on a ladder and clean the windows in the PE hall. Oh, okay. So instead of staying in the classroom, the teacher made you go, like, explore the school and you had to just clean all the windows. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked that either. I don't like heights. Also, that sounds really boring. Pull me trousers down and do a sexual dance. <laughs> Pull me trousers down or do a sexual dance. It's an interesting one. Um, I'm not I'm not entirely sure if this is true, this one. But uh, if it is true, 
I'm really sorry to hear that and you should be contacting the police. He made me and the other kids run 50 laps around the classroom. And did I mention he was a head of PE? <laughs> I hope it was a small classroom. That's, uh, yeah. It doesn't sound that bad, to be fair. I think if you do it in a class, it would be very funny. Like, imagine there's 30 of you. A big class of 30 kids. And you're all just jogging around the hall like this. <laughs> this, is <a> <laughs> this is a really small room. Oh, that was just two laps. And this room is like two meters. I just ran four meters, pretty much. And I'm tired. <laughs> Make sure you carry on watching, guys, because these are just getting weirder and weirder, honestly. I was made to build a fence around a shed that we smoked weed in. The fence was not very effective. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You're not going to make the kids that are breaking into the shed make the fence, because then they're just going to put a hole in the fence so that they can get in. <laughs> Seems a bit silly. Scrape chewing gum off the bottom of tables with a scraper and rubber gloves. Oh, that sounds horrible. Also, once had to circle all the vowels in a long newspaper article and make a tally. E1. So you had to go through the whole newspaper article and just circle A, E, I, O, or U. That would be so boring. That's such a weird thing to get you to do as well. Also, yeah, scraping the chewing gum off the bottom. There's so much. You just look under a desk and it's just a sea of gum. One person desk, two people either side. You had to sit there for an hour. It was always a kid you didn't know. <laughs> it was always the weird kid. It was always Henry. <gasps> and you had to share this really small desk. <laughs> One of my teachers made me help him set up a dating account for him. <laughs> That's quite fun, actually. That sounds that sounds pretty fun. Now I wish I got a detention more in school. That just would have been fun. I would have loved to help my teachers set up dating accounts. I mean, it's so funny. Like, imagine helping your math teacher set up a dating account. You're picking photos for them. Scrolling through the dick pics, can't can't pick any of them. And you just put like, like to go for long strolls in the park. <laughs> Owns one dog and bisexual. That sounds so funny. Me and my friend had to sit and watch my PE teacher working out in the fitness suite. Why? <laughs> That's so strange. He told you to sit there and watch him while he worked out. Oh, I'm not really sure how to. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to feel about that. That's a bit weird. It's better than the other way around, I suppose. Like him making you work out while he watched you. Ah, oh, it just makes me cringe. My English teacher made us discuss eight things we enjoy in English. I had to make everything up. <laughs> eight things. What did I enjoy about English? Learning. I kind of like learning new words. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, so you had to think of seven more things after that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tear down things that we don't need anymore off the walls. A lot of these things seem to be like manual labor. <laughs> They're just making you do things around the school, picking up litter, tearing off the walls, building a wall. My year four teacher made me put a book on my head and say I'm dumb constantly. Year four? So you were like eight. You just had to put a book on your head and go, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I don't think the teacher made you do that. I think you would probably just doing that anyway. This next one's a three-parter. I'm Scottish, so schools are different. In P7, year seven, I hit someone, so my head made me stay after school, hours to clean all of the school windows. I had to do it at break time too. Love your vids, bro. Oh, thank you. You hit someone, so you had to clean the windows for it. I mean, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That is like, that is a very stereotypical example of why you get detention for hitting someone and then also something you would actually do in the detention. I don't think I've ever cleaned a window in my life. <laughs> Made me lick the table after I drew on it and said, if you got ink poisoning, that was your fault. What? They made... <laughs> That reminds me of a time I actually did get in trouble. My teacher phoned home after I drew on the windowsill. And I was so scared, I like, burst into tears because I just hated getting into trouble when I was in school. What my teacher didn't do was make me lick it off the windowsill. They didn't do that. That's... <laughs> That's just insane. Write an essay on why I shouldn't forget my English book. It was a 30 minute detention. So you, you had 30 minutes to write a whole essay on why you shouldn't forget your English book. That, yeah, I, I'd love to have, I'd love to read this essay. I wonder how much you actually wrote in the end. I suppose you couldn't write anything because you forgot your book. Well, I had to redo homework I missed once 10 times and then had to sort their files in alphabetical order. Sorting stuff in alphabetical order is the worst thing ever. You have to get it all out and then you also have to remember the alphabet, which I never can. Stick stamps on envelopes for their Christmas cards. <laughs> that sounds so boring. Teachers don't ever let you do anything fun in detention, do they? It's always just the boring sh**. <laughs> Thanks for submitting all those answers, guys. They are very funny answers. Yeah, very interesting to see what kind of stuff teachers make you do when you've misbehaved. Because every teacher has their own method. Some of them are a bit questionable. Might need to contact the police. And others are fair enough. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Do that now. Do it. Take it easy and I will see you.
in the next video. Bye! Oi! Subscribe! Oh god, please subscribe! Subscribe! Uh, subscribe! <laughs> subscribe!